We are going to play to the moon today. We are going to the moon today. Freebird Games. <laughs> moon! Beautiful moon. Lighthouse. I wonder what's the significance of the lighthouse into the game. Mm. Original music by Kan Gao. Laura Sh I forgot to guys. The game looks beautiful. Little kids. Good at piano. Better childhood than what I had. <laughs> Doctor Girl and Doctor Boy. Doctor Rosaline, uh, where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it, anyways. Oh, you ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click on the squirrel. Oh, oh, wait, I left clicked on the squirrel. Come on, I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it. That's asking too much. Where are we going, left or right? Oh, a sign. Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. Ooh. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just want to see if you'd remember. <laughs> don't forget to lock the car. Are they lost? I think they are lost. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Uh, find a branch. Because, you know, better safe than sorry for our hands. The tree has a branch? Uh, this one. Okay, we got a tree branch. Can we grab the bird? <laughs> no, we can't. Uh, What was that? <laughs> we had the same expression or reaction. I don't even... It's some kind of an air ball. Alright, uh, we need to get going for now. Right. Ah, it's a kid's house. Ma, they're here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts, love him or hate him? You know the answer, you stupid owl. <laughs> it's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know. I know. Oh, what happened? Door opened. Door opened. Don't forget the equipment, moron. <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this. Maybe you'll get paid better after you go back to your agency. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Aren't they? Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Beautiful music. Twinkly. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. 
That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting that as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. Children! <laughs> and these are my children. <laughs> yeah, children. Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so le Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Come here with me. Mm, if you say so, girl. What? Kids these days. No fair! You pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. Lisa Christopher, can go. Can go. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you were the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. Ready to set up? Okay. Yes, it'll just be a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Is it like a glass thing? Why is there like a- Oh, it's like a glass panel. I thought like it's on the floor, it's actually up. How is he doing? Not so well if I were to say, he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon? The m he wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So can you do it? Uh, it depends. Why don't you tell us about our clients here? Johnny's an odd man. Oh, old. Through the two years that I worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find more, more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you too. Hmm, so be it. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. No, stop giving me that. Maybe it's easier then. Talk to children. Talk to children. What you want? Hey, your ma told me to show you around the house. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Alright, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars, or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. There is a giant candy cane on top of a, gi a giant shelf that we can't reach. Uh, giant shelf. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour around the house. Well, sure, I'll go get it for you. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again or I'll tell your mother. What's this? There's that candy cane. Wink. Wink. <laughs> wink, wink. Sieve candy cane. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. Alright, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there. But I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber. But you can use it like a walking stick. <laughs> You'll see. It's weird. Oh, got to try. This is the book room. The key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Yeah. Dusk light. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who grant who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. That is an interesting book. Oh, a room key. Kids, I got your key. What you want? Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight until one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. Hee <laughs> hee. Crazy girl. So respect for your brother. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Is it's a light? I suppose. Door is locked. 
Oh, room key. Whoa, is this guy is a creep. And we are going to die. Do you? Did you see it? Do you? Do you see? It? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. So you wanna go to the lighthouse? Yes. Why not? So kids, where is the lighthouse? I guess it's outside because it's beneath the cliff. Bird. Bird. <laughs> bird. Distracting bird. Where is it, kid? Oh, the kid won't talk to me anymore because I'm a weirdo. Not my fault. Your grandpa's a weirdo. Oh no! My novelty beach ball. <laughs> so many broke it. It was stupid anyway. But but it's the best novelty beach ball I've ever had. Oh, what could have been so cool? Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry, Doctor Rosalie will probably buy another. No, don't do it. She will. But yeah, sure. Just ask her afterwards. We kind of need to get going now, though. <laughs> bird. Bird. Oh, a s oh, squirrel! That <laughs> was a bird! Oh, no. oh, what? There's a fight scene in this game! What? This ends here! Yeah! Stop it! I want to... My animal abuse! Yeah, <laughs> she called the cops on you! Oh, come on! I was actually gonna... Don't you like <laughs> playing? Stupid man, you shouldn't be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Movie lighthouses are bound to be scary. It is something hidden in them, you know. Maybe that's where he hides his dead bodies. I guess. Wait, what's that over there? In memory of River E. Wild. Come on, the lighthouse is right here. Oh, more rabbits. This is it. A multicolored paper rabbit. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these, though? Yeah, you are. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what the? Someone's calling me. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. <laughs> Blah blah blah. Alright, let's head back. You see, paper rabbit. Oh, wow. And we're back. What the cactus were you doing? Oh, shut up, Rosaline. Burning ants with a magnifying glass. Using moonlight? <laughs> okay, I was taking a nap then. Your helmet to the couch. Get it on. We're going in. Ready or not, here it goes. What's going on? Um, are they going to get transported to another place? To the moon, perhaps? Yeah, that'll be so easy. Game, game over. <laughs> this should be the last accessible memory. How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Ah, it's Lily, not his wife. Actually, you've already called us. What? It's like Inception. It's... Yeah. We're here to fulfill our contract from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're gonna have to reload this memory. You... What's going to happen? Is he going to jump? You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't, but you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine, you can tell us. It's essential for helping us to get you to go there. 
Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we will do. We need to get to your childhood, but it is too distant to do so in one memory hop. Thus, we will need to traverse through your memories with gradual backward leaps. Which you've given us permission to do so in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for direct access, we will return here. That's when you need to help us influence the childhood, you to become an astronaut. The point is, you need to have more to say than just, I don't know. But sometimes, that's the answer, you know? I don't know. Sometimes you do things because you just feel like it. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will cooperate in any way possible. We need an item that is of importance to you. Do you have a memento of some sort to get it started? The, that's a bunny from the lighthouse. We'll need to prepare this memento first. The memento can now be activated for traversal. Activate. Whoosh, they just disappeared. For no reason, like whoosh. Wow, and they duck dog platypus toy yes, and he's playing the piano it's beautiful it's really beautiful turn off visibility and interactivity it'd be messy to be seen jeez i forgot to ask him about all these rabbits this is creeping me out. What the... Uh, did you hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of this memory. Then I stand by my point. What happened? Anyway, quit blab... Quit. Quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. Where? No, click, 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 click. Bunny! I saw a bunny in the bunny. Well, aren't you special having two colors when all your siblings look like they drown in bleach? So we put the mementos in there. Okay. Clock? Man? Where did he go? That's weird. Pickle. A glass? <laughs> it is pickles. I was just guessing. Pickle. Oh, but it's not really pickles. It's a glass bottle of pickled olives. One more. Plant. Plant. Man. Don't. If we have to explain our presence at him at every memory, I'd go crazy. Don't tap me. Fresh water. Flowers. And we've got all the five mementos. Wee. Hadouken! Uh, what's going on? What the heck was that? What? That's it! I'm doing the breaking from now on. Oh, hey! Okay. I think it's going to get more difficult per level, I guess. I'm not sure, I hope not. Wait. Are we in the memory now? We're back. We're so here. I think we're so here. We have to click that umbrella like, like what we did to the rabbit. Well, why can't it be clicked? Oh, there it is. Activate memento. Oh, back to the past.